hour, Betsy Kling is live outside Jacob's Pavilion at Nautica, where they will be playing. Betsy, it is definitely music season here. It is. It's also very hot, I will tell you that. And right outside of Jacob's Pavilion at Nautica. Yeah, Fits into Tantrums is the headlining here tonight, and we're just so excited about this concert. I'm actually getting to go to the concert because Fits into Tantrums is my favorite band. And, you know, we get these groups. They come and they go, and oftentimes we are so focused on the music that's on the stage, we really don't pay attention to anything that all these performers may be doing off the stage. And that's where the pandemic actually comes into the conversation because the pandemic gave a lot of performers an unexpected amount of time to work on some of these side projects that they have instead of touring and instead of having so diligently to focus on their music. Noelle Skaggs is the co-lead for Fits and the Tantrums, and she decided to start an organization that speaks straight to her heart. It's called Diversify the Stage, and it's about diversity and inclusion behind the scenes. So it's like James Taylor to Roberta Flack, Donny Hathaway. We were listening to like Dina Washington and Ella Fitzgerald. Can you take Noelle Skaggs developed her love of music from a diverse group of artists. Oh my gosh, I grew up with a lot of funk and disco stuff because my dad was a DJ in the 70s. Visiting the Rock Hall earlier today, it's clear. She loves the wide range of sounds and voices that make up the industry. Oh, this is his suit. <laughs> But as she reached musical stardom as co-lead singer with the alt-pop band Fits in the Tantrums, she began to notice that the same diversity wasn't always reflected behind the scenes. One of my experiences had been that I was probably the only one, woman of color in a lot of stages that I stepped on. It was mostly male-driven, not a lot of diversity as far as ethnicity identifications. Started realizing that it wasn't something that should be so normal. And when the group's touring schedule was put on pause during the pandemic, Pandemic, Noelle knew it was time to take action. And I wanted to try to amplify what I was seeing as an artist and, and wondering if within the industry itself it was something that was already recognized. And so Diversify the Stage was born. Its mission? Establish more inclusive hiring practices and greater access to opportunities in live entertainment and production. So I had to kind of educate myself and how are my touring teams established and how do we find the crews that are actually participating in building our rigs and, and all of these things. And as I started to ask more questions, I started to, you know, understand that there was a real layer of everybody acknowledging that there was a diversity issue behind the scenes but not knowing what to do about it. Three, two, one, let's go. Since launching in 2020, Diversify the Stage established a masterclass series and a mentorship program. We placed about 80% of the students over the pandemic that were in the first program. We're now in the, what is now the third phase of the apprenticeship program. Noelle says so far, the response from within the industry has been a positive one. An inclusivity pledge was backed by Live Nation, AEG, and key talent agencies in the fall. Why do you think the music community is so accepting? It's an undeniable thing that music is a universal language. So why don't the business op businesses operate from that same mentality, right? Um, and, and I think people recognize that and they understand that it shouldn't be normal for, you know, the lack of diversity that we see to be the norm. Well, Noelle mentioned the master class, the mentorship, and the apprenticeship programs. We will be reminding you about those when the application window opens later this year and early next year. So maybe you know somebody who wants to get involved in live music and music production. It's a stupendous opportunity. It's just, it was so great to get to talk to her today. I was totally fangirling the whole time, but uh, it's really, really awesome to get to know the people off the stage as well as, uh, of course, their personalities on the stage.